let's take a new file we are going to create mouse direction assignment We are just going to change the direction of the object towards that cursor. So let's change the state size to 800 by 600. I'm just changing the background color as in black, and then let's save the file. I'm just saving in my, my main folder and just naming it as mouse direction. Click save. Now, so let's draw two lines to identify the center point of the stage. I'm just taking that one horizontal line, which is which uh, the line width is equal to that my stage width. Let us make it as an 800 and just changing the color and opacity of the line. Just let us make it exactly the center of the stage horizontally. Let us lock the layer and create another layer. I just want to create that one vertical layer and sorry vertical line the vertical line height is supposed to be that stage uh, height 600 pixels and just making it center of the stage and let us lock both the layers let's create a new layer now so I have an object in illustrator just let us copy the object from illustrator and paste it in flash Go to that edit and just say paste in place. And we'll be able to see that object here. And now let us convert this into a symbol. Right click and convert to symbol. And we are supposed to convert this into a movie clip. And let us select that option called export for action script. And let us type the class name as mouse direction. Because we are going to apply uh, the object class click on pencil symbol to create a new class here is the object class let us save the file one after the other and we need to save that action script file also let's save with the same name mouse direction click save okay now we just need to add one event listener to it the event which will help us to execute it continuously so which is supposed to be that enter frame event let us say add event listener and my event is enter frame and then we are supposed to define the function name so here in this case that my function name is update direction now we just need to define the function out of the public function which is supposed to be private private function and then my function name is update direction update direction so the event is event event is event now we just need to know the x difference and y difference so that it is possible for us to calculate the angle so to find the x difference i'm i'm uh, uh, declaring that one variable here and to know the y uh, difference we want another variable so here in this case i am just declaring that one variable as in dy to know the y difference dy is equals to stage dot mouse y minus this dot y and the another variable dx is equals to stage dot mouse x minus this dot x so the dx and dy both are variables which are going to store the x difference value as well as y difference value so we just need to declare one more variable to ca uh, calculate the angle based on this dx and dy so we are supposed to use that attain to function from math class which will help us to calculate that angle in radians based on y based on y comma x so let us use that same function angle is equals to math dot attain to inside uh, inside it dy comma dx so the angle will be calculated in radians that we need to remember so this formula works based out of that x difference value as well as that y difference value so let me explain here i have a small drawing with me that it shows that object there and y axis 
x-axis and I could see that the, the uh, cursor position is in red color. So that is the angle that which we are supposed to calculate. So x difference and y difference. So we need to take uh, till that particular point we need to take that x, x uh, difference as well as that y difference and that these difference values will help us to calculate the angle in radians using that attain to function from math class. Let's go back now. So we have an angle in radians that we are supposed to convert this angle uh, from radians to degrees. So that degrees will help us to rotate the object towards the cursor. Let me do it, uh, let me put a comment there to convert the angle from radians to degrees radians to degrees let us use the following formula so we have a formula here which will help us to convert that angle from radians to degrees that is very important so let us declare that one variable for degrees where degrees where degrees let us declare uh, the data type as a number equal to so we just need to take the angle into 180 by math.py angle multiply with 180 divide with pi constant math.py pi is a constant which is from math class so we just need to assign this degrees to the object rotation this dot rotation is equals to degrees that's all let's save the file and test it now all right we could see the up update here wherever i move my cursor the object is rotating towards that so this is how that it is possible for us to rotate the object towards that cursor Thank you for watching and have a great day.